crash man, you copy. Romeo 26, Romeo 26, this is crash man, you copy. Romeo 26, Romeo 26, meet me at Alpha Camp. Good afternoon, family and friends, brothers and sisters, and all my subs. Uh, Sergeant OCD here, and I want to welcome all my new subscribers. Um, <clears throat> I'm in Camp Chaos today because I want to do a scenario of what's in your car. Um, let's just say you go off the road. It's winter time. Um, I couldn't get to the camp today because I was taking care of some uh, last-minute business with the family. So, you know... My son has a charger, doesn't do well in snow, so I had to drive him around. Um, but anyway, I want to talk to you about uh, Jerusalem, Israel. Um, pray for peace of Jerusalem. May they prosper who love you. I mean, there's a lot of stuff going on with, with uh, um, Israel right now, and everybody hates them. And all the, the different Sunni and Shiite groups say death to america death to israel we didn't do anything but hey they hate us no worries um but this is really crucial that i get out of the snow because i've got regular boots on i don't have snow boots on and i'm standing in about four to five inches of snow and i don't want to be i'm going to use this right here for uh, just a shelter but i got to get a fire going with what's in my pack um, also, I have my hiking. This is my hiking pouches. Basically, everything I carry, you know, um, tourniquet, little first aid kit. Um, I'll go over it, but I've got a lot of little things in there for everybody else. So, I happen to have this in my bag going to my camp. So, you know, it's got all my wood stuff already done. So, that was a real blessing. And I think you should keep things like that, an emergency fire starter and everything in there. I'm just going to try to kick some of the snow out of the way. Um, I happen to have this in my camp, so I can take off my pack. I'm going to hang up my pack here front of the snow. But I'm going to want my fire right here. So, But some of the things I have with this uh, pouch, they're basically compass knife, uh, fire starters, alcohol bee sting stuff um, you know stuff that you would need if you're out hiking some of you've been following me with uh, this is my table that I got my camera from. And one of the things I'm going to switch to now is I always keep these in here. So these gloves here, they're winter. Carhartts. Carhartts gloves are about the only thing I like. With Carhartts. So I'm going to get my emergency blanket out. Socks. Okay. See this? Get some stuff out of here. Uh -huh. 
here too. My toolkit that you guys have seen before. everything ready to go this is another um a little small part and a another emergency blanket um so try to keep these together and it was a nice little thing to whistle i was just throwing stuff out of my bag I'm trying not to get everything all snowy so the fingerless gloves go on yep during a non-hiking season i don't keep water in my container so i had those in the car Let's see what i got in here the fire starters fair seam rod that's gonna help Got these emergency things, but I do. Let's see if this torch. I didn't do anything else with this torch other than spread these out a little bit more. So there was another one here. I don't know what I did with it. I want to get that thing going here. So um, I did have a little extra wood here, and oh, that's what I got. Um, so I have some cherry bark in here. I'm gonna throw in there. This little thing, I took a piece of tape and put cherry bark all around there. Hopefully start the fire really quick, you know. I should have that little, what I call a herd. Um, so this is dryer lit with wax. So I'm gonna try to light that guy on fire here. If you guys have been watching me, I've got this bandolier on with my more knife. things during the winter you want to keep your body off the ground the ground is cold you want to uh, get a fire started as soon as possible oh my hawk is not happy so the guy that said he uses dryer lit and um, wax he says it burns for a while it looks like it's going to that's a good tip so hopefully all that will go down and like this on fire all this stuff has been, you know, it's been outside. You can also get magnesium shavings off of uh, some uh, snowshoes that are obviously made out of magnesium. Vinegar, baking soda.
I think it's going good. So I'm tying this to a ridge line that I could have very easily ran. <coughs> I'm just trying to get this up to get the snow off of us. And you can see that I have um, the reflective side out. Now this guy needs to be a little tighter. Whoa, slipped in a hole. What I need to do is find this Prusik knot over here. Right. It's thrown up. But, you know, I want to concentrate more on my fire. So this worked out well because I just saw down in here it's on fire. So everything that's fallen is going in to this sweetest torch and it's going to make a nice fire. And now I have a little shelter. This is going to reflect some of the heat too. Um, I don't know if I'm going to need this wood. Actually worked out a little better than I thought. But my main point is, is keep your stuff in your vehicle, keep prepared. I mean, if this was a real world situation, I have a tourniquet, I have Narcan, I have a first aid kit right here, I have another knife back here. Um, It's a uh, side mount. And it's not the best. 
but it works. But it's putting out some nice flame. That cover. And I what's good about this is I could actually boil water on it. This tower, the Swedish torch, this thing is working like a champ. Look how good this thing is. It's water boiling. So I built this in my shop yesterday, but I added sticks in between, and that's the world of difference from last week to this week, because I used the same wood. It was from, it's from the same log, same tree, and that's the key right there, is you gotta have air. Plus, I have it on sticks here, where the air is coming through. The importance is, is to be able to do things like this on the fly and have the proper things that you test. That, <laughs> that tape roll with all that cherry bark in there and that, um, I call it turd, um, the uh, wax with the uh, dryer lint, that worked. Awesome. That thing's still burning. Let's <clears throat> like pick it up there over here. I mean, look at this thing. It's amazing. There, that's the uh, lint dryer. That thing's still burning. Try not to touch this thing because the water's gonna go. And get these gloves out. bubbles. I got another stick in this thing. It's the problem with having your gloves this way when you're walking through the woods. You get sticks in them. I don't know which is better. I'm 
another stick. Um, that tape roll, that thing's working awesome. Of course it had some tape on it, I left the end on there. Another stick. This thing's burning forever. Bubbles. It's not boiling yet. <clears throat> but I was wanting to do this video for a long time and didn't really uh, really have the time because I wanted to do other videos. But you know, I tried to do this almost almost two years, uh, two months short of two years with my go bag and I failed miserably but I have a lot of different things now I have a lot more knowledge than I did two years ago that's for sure yeah this whole Swedish torch is falling apart but that's why I have these on so I can grab it real quick Always keep a lighter or in a ferro seam rod. I mean, you're not going to find the sun today, so I really do like those Fresno lenses, but can't always use them. But you can see how much snow we have from my table. You know. This is the first year in about. 15 years since I've been following woolly bears that they've been wrong because it had a, a thick thick black ring around it at the beginning and end so you know we got snow a couple weeks ago and then we just got this snow oh it's boiling <laughs> it didn't take that long to boil this thing this thing's gonna fall apart soon use that next time and that one I feel like I could put more more wood on this if I wanted to but uh, I don't really need to Just a quick video this week. Um, just keep your head on a swivel. You know, you don't know who's gonna attack you just for being you, you know? Just cause you're an American, just cause you're a Christian. Um, it just isn't, it's not safe out there anymore. Uh, make sure that you sharpen up on your skills, you know, collect food water uh, gasoline ammo but you never know what's going to happen you know we're probably going to go to war in the middle east we're probably going to go to war in the uh, pacific ocean defending taiwan um russia's still being russia you know we just protect your own protect your church protect your family um, it's just not a not a good world out there anymore. So with that, I'm going to say God bless you, take care, and I'll catch you all on the flip side.